Hey, this is Bert. And uh, the last couple months, I've been finding lots of good deals on 3D printed parts. Little background barrels, crates, you name it, on eBay, on Etsy. And uh, what happened was, uh, after maybe the second package of these things arrived in the mail, my wife decided that she had to just out with it and give me my Christmas present early, which was, of course, a 3D printer. And it was amazing. My plan was to go and set it up and do a little video as I as I begin 3D printing stuff. But then I got COVID, and I'm tired, and I'm quarantined, and I'm isolated in this little room all on my own, so I can't really set it up. <sighs> so while I'm sitting here feeling sorry for myself, I can't hang out with my kids or my wife or anybody, I went through my texts with my best friend and fellow toy collector, Pokey, and I just... I just went back a whole year just to see, you know, just to remember what the year 2022 was all about. So today I'm going to go through my texts with my buddy Pokey and uh, just, I don't worry, I'm not going to go over every single one. We probably sent thousands of texts to each other and they range in topics from uh, being cranky about the Buffalo Bills to uh, having to go back to work to the weather, but primarily we talk about action figures. I just kind of picked out a few of the highlights over the past year that I wanted to share. That's what this video is all about. Just just kind of a review of 2022 and the sort of things that my pal and I were talking about in the world of, of entertainment, toys, and occasionally football. We're going to start things off back at December 29th, 2021. And on that day, uh, Pokey got Kill uh, from The Mandalorian. And I wrote back to him saying, you know, Kill stars in a new movie called Dude, Where's My Blurred? Because I think he'd be an infinitely more popular figure if they just made a blurg in the 3.75 inch scale. And then I'm now at that point, December 29th, I was just 21 subscribers away from meeting that magical thousand. Now I haven't gotten that many subscribers since it's almost worked out to being just a maybe one, one and a half per day. Man, I got some sad days where I lose two subscribers. It's rough. Then we move on and the Book of Boba Fett series starts. And uh, I write to him and, and it turns out that I was right about this. I write, in my canon, that will 100% be Cammy and Fixer. And the, those two have just been hanging out on Tatooine for six years, never changing their clothes. And I don't know if you remember the, the episode, but it's the one where... Um, there's like the Nick two looking bad guys in there kind of terrorizing a, I don't know, looks like a bar sort of joint on, on Tatooine. And, and they have these characters that look exactly like Cammy and Fixer from the deleted scenes of A New Hope. And it turns out, in fact, that it is supposed to be them. And uh, he responds, they're poor, poor moisture evaporator farmers and fixers. Thought it was them right away and heard the name Cammy before the fight. Still not clear what Boba Fett's motivation is. He always gets winded pretty quickly when he's not in the back-to-bath. Back, Sarlacc digestive juices have a long-term effect that is comparable to smoking. Yeah, maybe, but what's his motivation for not being a bounty hunter, but kind of like a would-be crime lord? And and I got to tell you, there is no answer to that in that show. So if you're looking for that answer, it's not there, <laughs> um, unfortunately. And then he asks, what do you think of the Mayor Hammerhead? I love Hammerhead with his slightly hairy face. And I did. I, I love seeing those aliens like a new take on them. Um, but I did find it weird that his voice translator sounds exactly like the Mandalorian. I, I don't know if that was just me, but I thought that was Pedro Pascal voicing this dude. And maybe that was just me. And that was uh, January 6th that, that that little Book of Boba Fett conversation took place. On January 7th, Pokey texts me, are you watching the Bills choke? This is at 7.03 p.m. Yes. And then, and then about 20 minutes later, uh, I, around that time, I left to go and have dinner with my family. And, uh, and I get back from dinner. And I'm like, we watched the whole stupid game and they score two touchdowns while we're eating dinner. And he responds that that's very Billsy. Here, Pokey texted me a picture of a find that he got at the local grocery store. Uh, it's Fisher Price Little People. It says, let's go Buffalo. 
and it's got uh, an official Josh Allen figure, even though they don't have the Bills logo. It did it did officially uh, get licensed or whatever by Josh Allen. Uh, and he has a little fake signature on the back. And so I got little greedy uh, dollar sign eyes for this one. I wrote to him saying, buy them all. And then I, uh, I filed it up feeling bad. <laughs> and I said, to support Children's Hospital, of course, not because of their potential future value. I'll just have you know, he did not go and uh, buy them all, as I suggested. He was being good and did not go all scalper on these. Next, uh, I uh, texted him my my uh, Super Bowl prediction of Green Bay Packers versus the Bills. We all know that did not happen in 2022. Uh, <laughs> I do love this this book. I had this board book at my house. It was my nephew's board book of opposites. All about the NFL. They have short and tall, whatever. And, of course, for happy and sad, don't they have the Green Bay Packers as happy? And the the sad one, it had to be a Buffalo Bills fan. It had to be. There was, that's, uh, you know, after losing those four Super Bowls, that's all anyone thinks about with us. <laughs> so, uh, I I said I hope that the book didn't predict uh, how, the, how it was going to shape up. But... Uh, Actually, the season was even worse because we the Bills never made it. We talk about the failure of the the Raycor Monster Haslab, and this was after the conclusion of the Book of Boba Fett, where the Raycor Monster wreaked havoc on the on the town. And I said, too bad Disney didn't tell them to give the Haslab like until this week or next. And uh, you know he could have had a clip on nose ring. I, I really think that they would have sold through on these. And I, I actually still believe that to this, to this day. If, if like, Disney had just communicated at all with Hasbro and said, hey, we don't want to tell you anything, but we're telling you, let your HasLab project go for another two weeks, and I think there would have been enough interest. Now, I know people were were upset. You know, there's a lot of different reasons that it failed. But I think uh, lack of new media interest is part of it. I think there's people out there that would have loved to had a book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett riding on top of, of the Rancor monster. And that would have made original trilogy and new Disney fans uh, happy. And uh, I really think that, you know, it was a missed opportunity just because of lack of communication. Then later on, January 23rd, we had this little discussion about what we'd like to see as a return of the Jedi retro wave. And uh, so, you know, it seemed like we were supposed to get that last year. And then obviously it, you know, became obvious to everyone that they were holding off for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. Whether that was intentional or not, I don't know. So my picks, because they've established this thing where they're only going to do six figures. So I picked Luke as a Jedi, a Gamrian guard, the Emperor, Leia Bush, Wicket, and a Biker Scout. Pokey is a lot of the same ones. But instead of Leia as Boosh, he went with Endor. And he went with Endor Han instead of a Gamrian guard. And then um, then he then he added the Emperor's guard, too. And uh, I called him out because he's anti-Jabba. I said, you're so anti-Jabba. My list is more balanced. But the Emperor's guard is a pretty good idea. Now, actually, you know what? I'm going to pause for a minute here. I'm going to go check because I, I, I already ordered the six figures they made. I have no idea. Based on like, if we were right about this at all, I can't remember for the life of me who Hasbro's actually making for this. All right, so I figured it out, and uh, we were pretty close. We we missed out on we didn't think about Lando in, in uh, Skiff Guard disguise. That's a good, it's a good figure, um, and uh, they left out Wicket and the Gamrin Guard, which I also thought were kind of essential. But you know, I understand that they you know it's a tough time whittling it down to six. But when that happens and it's tough to choose six, just make more. You have the option. We'd buy them. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to lose it there. January 24th, they announced the Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett Morak figure. And uh, my response was, looks great, but utterly ridiculous. Pokey responded, the price, insane. And uh, I got a little mad here. I got a little mad here. Maybe said some things. I wrote, they've gone from greedy to straight up evil. I'm not going to buy any of these till they make the motorcycle gang. <laughs> the mod gang. And a day later, I, I had a weird eBay situation. 
somebody bought an item on Saturday from me and then uh and then they died that Sunday. And uh it was pretty sad and and I um uh, I I don't want to make light of of you know okay obviously I don't really know if that's true or not but I want to make light of it if it is. But uh I did respond to Pokey and said if I died suddenly my wife would be getting stuff in the mail for another year and a half cuz it's true with all these pre-orders and and Haslab projects I I'd be getting toys for and and maybe is that just how it's going to be we're all going to get toys delivered to our houses long after our our demise uh, then on uh January 27th I told Pokey that I just got my Razor Crest baloney he said and, not so well in more colorful language than that pictures and i i just sent him the uh the shoulder shrug emoji and explained that my phone is broken and i told him i'd bring the pack in figures to work and then and then i wrote to him you know i always wondered why my one friend lied and told me he had the blank figure it's really fun <laughs> when i was a kid I had all the Dick Tracy toys except for the blank because the blank, I think, was only released in Canada because they kind of canceled it because uh, um, it's revealed. Spoiler alert, but the blank had a removable face mask and underneath it was Madonna. And that was supposed to be like the big, uh, you know, reveal during the movie. So, uh, so yeah, my friend told me he had the blank and uh, he totally didn't. It's fun to troll your friends about action figures. So, uh, continuing the trolling, on February 11th, I actually did get the Ro Razor Crest, and he didn't get his, even though we we lived, like, literally less than a mile apart from one another. Pokey responded, just seeing you in the cockpit, ugh. There's my Burt action figure in the cockpit. Uh, continuing the trolling, Pokey every once in a while likes to show me uh, some new acquisitions in his in his vintage toy collecting and uh and just kind of show off his toy space in general so he sent me a series of photos here's a uh, lily letty jowl with the removable hood you know uh afa graded of course he's got a uh, shelf display he's got special special feature um tie fighter and x-wings there and uh so again trolling trolling my buddy here again i i wrote I'll give you 75 for it because <laughs> I'm a jerk. <laughs> then uh, following that up, I uh, on February 27th, I showed him where uh, I finally got enough subscribers that I could start monetizing on YouTube. Oh, yeah. So I, I wrote to him. He's, he always makes fun of me because he's going to retire first by like maybe as much as six or seven years. Uh, and I said, I wouldn't be so sure about who's retiring first, Pokey. I'm making some real YouTube money now. He says, I bet it costs them more money in time to pay someone to come up with the convoluted calculations that equal that little. I think at this point I'm making, I was making like 67 cents. Another way I troll my friend is every time he asks me a question, I'll, I'll link him to a YouTube video that I, that I, of a video I've made. You ever do a video about the best C-3PO? I still like the Endor Saga one with, with the chair the best. There's so many modern versions. And I told him, watch, easy tips to make a definitive custom C-3PO 3.75 inch figure on YouTube. He responds, no. So I'm like, okay, long story short, yeah, I agree. But you might be impressed by the sheer number of that figure I own if you watch the video. Okay, I will watch. So... Then and, and you guys should too if you haven't seen that one. It's it's a good one. This is one where you know we know now what the true answer to this is, but we didn't know uh, then. It, this was um, let's see, April fifth of twenty twenty two. The Cantina Band member was announced. Figurin Dan as a vintage collection figure. So first thing I gotta know is, do we gotta buy seven? Okie okay, says, I'm guessing they'll make a three-pack or four-pack in the future with more instruments and paint apps. Looks great. I love this. He said figure, but he means character. I love this character since I was a kid. And uh, so memorable to me. More, even more so than Hammerhead or Snaggletooth. And I agree. I They always stuck in my mind, the Cantina Band members, and I always wish I had a toy of them. And see one that looks this good is is pretty, pretty awesome. And now I have it in hand at this point. It's also been revealed that we didn't need to buy multiples or even this figure at all because... 
Hasbro made a seven pack. Okay, so should have bought none. Although I, I do have some plans to customize uh, the ones I already have. So it's fine. It's fine. And it got to be Easter. And Pokey's asking me if Rogue One is an Easter movie. I think because he finally opened up his Antoc Merrick X-Wing is what's really going on. And now he felt like watching Rogue One. But me, I said, yeah, but I just got my Urukai in the mail. So I'm, in, I'm all in a Lord of the Rings mood. Maybe Two Towers is an Easter movie because Gandalf is resurrected in that. And he wanted to know what Urukai had. I had just gotten the, the Diamond Select ones. Then on April 22nd, we found this great uh, meme by, by BanthaSkull.com. And it's the the OTC Lando, Lobot, and uh, Bib Fortuna figures. And Drake is not having it. And then it's the Vintage Collection Lando... Lobot and Bib Fortuna figure. And he responded, I love the comparison photo. Amazing how far they came with Lando, Lobot, and Bib. If they redid all their OT figures that well, I'd buy them all. Truer words have never been spoken. On April 28th, I was doing a little bit of math and found out that my half birthday is May the 4th. Which, what could be cooler than that, right? And uh, Pokey responded, crushing my dreams. No, half birthdays are not real. You do not live in Candyland. Then... On May 18th, the Retro Sentinel was announced by Hasbro, Hasbro and uh, and I kind of quit the Retro Collection a long time ago. I, I did this video about how much I love them, and I actually still do love them a lot. Uh, but, you know, I just can't, I just can't buy everything. And uh, so with the Retro Sentinel, when he sends me a picture of this, I wrote, Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. So, uh... Yeah, and that's how I felt about that. But I resisted, actually, after all, and I did not buy the Retro Sentinel. Then, I don't know if you guys are liking this. I don't check clocks very often, but when I do, very frequently, it's 11.38. Like, like THX 1138, you know? So uh, I just wanted to share that with, with Pokey. So I, I wrote, I secretly like when, it just, when I just happen to look at the time and it's 11.38. And he wrote, nice. Even though my wife thinks it's annoying when I do that. So, whatever. <laughs> On Thursday, June 16th, he responded, he, re he reminded me to order my Darth Vader figures from Obi-Wan. Thanks for reminding me. I'm busy installing all the our AC units because it's too darn hot. I guess I can take a break to buy my 80th Darth Vader figure. And then I confess that I only bought one because I just, I can't get over the fact that his gloves are wrong. Or his torso's wrong. You pick. Okay? He's got he's got the torso of an Empire or Jedi Darth Vader with the gloves of a New Hope Darth Vader. And I can't I can't handle it. Then he shows me this this find that he got. I thought this was pretty amazing. On August 9th, he got uh the store display of these super awesome Lego helmets. And uh I just thought that it is the coolest. It's uh a stormtrooper a TIE pilot, and Boba Fett. And just uh, some random day, he uh, decides to ask, technically, is Rey a Jedi? And then he thought about it for a minute and responded to his own question, who cares? And I told him he beat me to the answer. He told me about the Indiana Jones brand panel. And uh, he told me we need to do videos together about it. And I said, mm, all six inch and retro, hard to care. On September 23rd, I wrote to update Pokey. We talk about all the TV shows we watch, and I, I uh, finally caught up with a bunch. I'm now all caught up on Stranger Things and or Rings of Power and She-Hulk. How about you? And I told him I also watched episodes one and two of Buffalo Bill's Road to the Super Bowl, and I was looking forward to episode three. And he goes, where's that series, ESPN? And I don't know if this it drives you guys nuts, but... It's never on the same channel. So I wrote changes every week for some dumb reason. Because it does. I'm watching it. CBS, ABC, Amazon Prime is the most ridiculous thing. Football this year. I don't. I just don't even. I just don't even. I can't. So pretty sure they're doing 6 inch and retro 3.75. I'm still hoping that allows for 3.75 vehicles. And we get a flying wing and a, and a Mark IV tank. 
Those are the two lines being rumored. Next Saturday is the reveal and pre-orders. Will you get retro? I don't want to, but we'll see. Why not? I think a retro line might be perfect for indie. Please re-release the old modes from the Kenner vehicles and play sets. Huh. I just love the 2008 line and want more. Imagine a vintage collection style indie. That's all that I want. Seriously, don't make anything else. Just a photo real modern TVC style indie. I'm like, they just don't get it. Nobody is nostalgic for the Kenner line. No offense. Then Pokey told me that he had this Yoda figure that he wanted to sell. And uh, I gave him some wise advice. He said that the, the trending price is $1,245. $1,245 for this modern era action figure, which I couldn't even believe. And I gave him some advice because he wanted to know what, what he should sell it for. And I said, you can always ask for less. But once you sell it, you can never ask for more. Ben Franklin. I may have made that up. But continuing my Ben Franklin quotes, later that very day, I told my son, more words of wisdom than I made up but have attributed to Ben Franklin, boots that are too big fit better than those that are too small. And then, <laughs> then I realized that I don't sound like Ben Franklin at all. I sound actually more like a fortune cookie. <laughs> Pokey likes to send me little mini dioramas. This is one with uh, Han about to board the shell Tidarium, and he's talking to Lando about the Money Falcon. And I don't know if you guys feel this way, but that is the worst shot in all of this, this, the original Star Wars trilogy. It looks so fake. And so I wrote that the background looks even more real than it did in the movie. <laughs> uh, then, this now we're getting really recent. We're talking uh, last couple weeks here, December 16th. Then he, then uh, Pokey got on a Stan Solo kick, and he sent me these Stan Solo figures uh, that he got. Uh, he sent me a picture. I wish he sent me the actual figures. They they look fantastic. Ula, Vinyl Cape Jawa, and Hut Slayer Leia here, and, and they they just look so good. And there's figures that that Hasbro will never make. Uh, I wish I had the money to buy all these. Uh, Stan Solo does a great job. They look fantastic. Hasbro should be making this stuff. It's too bad. And then, one of my most wanted uh, Stan Solo items. He got Grindin, and then he got the Ubrickian Star Speeder. And I just want this thing so bad. And it just, he did such a phenomenal job with it. Double hinged opening, so you can look down in the cockpit, or you can open the whole thing up and take figures in and out. Just an amazing, amazing toy. Like, just a real solid super cool toy and uh but now that i got my own 3d printer hopefully one of these days i'll be better and i can go in in my basement and set the whole thing up and start printing stuff like this for myself so that's where we leave off yeah i, I look forward to a whole nother year of talking toys not just with pokey but with you guys too so if you guys have any text conversations that you may have had with your friends about toys over the year share them in the comments below um if you want me to do another video like this next year, let me know also. All right, I'll see you then. This has been Bert with No Skill Customs. So long.